Hey there, I'm Tom with BarLenses.com and today we're going to talk about Nikon's solution to digitizing 35mm film, the ES2. Paying a lab to scan your film is fine, but unless you're willing to pay extra, the results are often low resolution and don't lend themselves well to printing or editing in programs like Lightroom or Photoshop. Scanning at home is another option, but dedicated film scanners and flatbed scanners may not be up to the task. They're often costly and kind of slow, and even then, the results still may be lacking. The Nikon ES2 seems like a viable solution to these problems, and we're gonna put it to the test. Here's what you're gonna need. A Nikon camera body. We're using the D850, which has a built-in film digitizing mode. You can use a crop body, but you'll lose the edges of your frame. A 40 millimeter or an R case 60 millimeter micro lens. The appropriate threaded adapter ring, the ES2. A small tripod like this Gorillapod. And last but not least, film negatives. Getting the Nikon ES2 mounted up is simple. Screw on your adapter to the filter threads of your chosen lens and attach the ES2 to that. Choose a strip of negatives you want to scan and mount them to the sliding film strip holder. Set your camera on a tripod a few feet away from your light source. Take the film holder and slide it into the ES2. Then make sure it's level with the camera's sensor using Live View and lock it into place using this screw here. Be sure to double check your camera settings. You'll want to stop down quite a bit for the sharpest possible reproduction and keep your ISO as low as possible. We don't want to introduce digital noise to film grain if we can help it. With your camera pointed at your light source, use Live View to focus on the frame you have in front of the lens. If you want positives rendered in JPEG, you can just use the Nikon's film digitizing setting. In this mode, you're able to adjust your image brightness but cannot change the output size. When you have your settings dialed in and your frame in focus, take a shot and voila! Your negatives have been turned into colorful positives in a snap. Other Nikon cameras don't have this setting, but don't worry, you can still easily shoot your negative in RAW and convert them in Lightroom. We'll show you how. This is where things might get a little tricky, but after you've got it nailed down, you can build a general preset that will allow you to flip your negatives to positives and then fine tune from there. In Lightroom, slide the white point on your curves tool all the way down, then slide the black point all the way up. Now we have our positive. But as you can see, this positive image's color balance is off and seriously lacks contrast. We're going to need to adjust for that. Using the basic tools in Lightroom, adjust your temperature, tint, and exposure settings to make corrections to your image. You'll notice that the sliders work opposite of how they would when editing a regular positive image. This is the result of flipping your tone curve on its head. It might take a little bit of experimentation, but with a little bit of determination, you'll nail it and end up with a beautifully digitized film negative all from your camera. And that's how you digitize your 35mm film negatives using the Nikon ES2. Overall, it's faster and easier than using a flatbed or even dedicated film scanner. That said, you'll most certainly have better results using something like a Flextite or a drum scanner, but unless you have regular access to that kind of equipment, this is a great alternative for a far lesser price. Try it for yourself at borrowlenses.com. Got a question? Check out the blog or leave us a comment. And thanks for watching.